Huh. It's better than uh, I expected. All right, guys. So today we are going to talk about paint remover from Green Stuff World. And we already said the results. If you want to sit back and see the rest, feel free to do so. All right. So I have left it for more than six hours now. And you can see clearly that the substance has changed color. So once again, it's a green stuff paint remover and it's 240 milliliter. I have used a prox half of it, I think. Ah, I'm lying. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. I wish there was a some place you can see on the bottle how much is left, but uh, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to pull the extra stuff in here, like so, and get the miniature out, and then pull it back. It's reusable, so I'm going to use it for much more uh, right now, but I, I wanted to check it out just with one miniature at first. So actually going to take on some gloves and let's see how, how much uh, we have to work for, to get it off. Um, Let's see if I find something to take it off with. All right. It's definitely working, isn't it? Little water. Yeah, you can see the paint is getting off here. Let's take uh, this part. So a little elbow grease and everything and and it's uh, getting off, yeah, absolutely. So um, just looking at it from now, uh, it's been a little bit over six hours since I put this on and uh, it works better than um, when I use um, the, uh, the other thing I used before. It's better than it. It uh, does a very clean job. Very nice. So now it's just you know, having the patient to clean it up. So you need to have a synthetic brush. I'm wondering if I could use an old toothbrush, an electric toothbrush, to get this easier. I'm going to probably try that with the other minis. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with this. Um, see. Putting it water <clears throat> and already 
you see a big difference. So I guess if I had a better brush, you can see this is a pretty beaten up brush right now. It's probably going to be a little bit easier, but I'm actually very pleased with how it uh, turns out. So I'm going to test out on our different miniatures as well and just film how they look before we put them in and after I've scrubbed it, I think, so you have a little reference. So, but yeah, there are places that are hard to get with the brush. And I guess I could just put, put, put it back and uh, if it, it will do the trick. I'm very impressed by how much I take uh, taking off <clears throat> right now. Just as a reference, this is how it looked before. And this is after. A little bit more work and it would be like new. That's kind of crazy. That's cool. I don't know if you can see it. Hey, there we go. Actually. So, okay, now I'm going to put in all the minis and just see if you can uh, get the same result when you put in more in this. All right, paint remover day two. And you can see the color of the paint remover. The color of the paint remover is there. And you can see it's, uh, the paint is flacking off here and there. Interesting. Focus, there you go. So yeah, I'm going to use the brush as I showed you and I will show you all of these miniatures when I have done the work. So there is a, there is this going to be elbow grease involved in this and it's going to be messy. And um, I think it's going to be too difficult to, to record. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will show you the result when it's done. Uh, so just bear in mind, it, 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 it uh, takes a little work, but it's less work than the other methods I have done. Uh, when I think about the one I have tried first. So I'm very impressed. I will see if I'm that impressed when I have done all of these Bretonians and Vestroians. <laughs> Anyways, yep. All right, so a conclusion of this. It's very good. Uh, it I met some problems with some type of uh, paints that was on uh, this miniature right here that you can see in the footage. Uh, but overall, I'm very pleased with the results and it um, it works very good. It seems like it's very easy on the plastic as well. I've tried it on one plastic shield and I'm going to experiment a little bit more. But I was thinking, let's put this out here for you to have a little knowledge out there in the YouTube lands. And um, yeah, would I recommend Green Stuff World paint remover? Yes. It's better than uh, the, the things I have used. I used uh, rubber alcohol and um, um, salt and <laughs> aluminium uh, mix and stuff like that. It's okay, but this is much better. This is just much better. Uh, yeah, and there you can see the plastic shield. Thank you so much to my co-producers Kenneth Johansson, Andreas Bakkehau Mikkelsen, Daniel Johansson, Demon Tal. Octave Villar, Warboss Tay Studios, Hans Albert Holden, Andreas Edison, OK Bjur, you're rock! Thank you so much! And oh! 
Thank you, Tabletop. Battle.no! Anyways, thank you all for watching.